So if you browse out to the netresec.com website and click on the network miner, and down at the bottom you can grab the free version. So when you download this file, what it's going to end up giving you is um, basically it's just a folder. So if you go to your downloads, it'll just be a folder and if you open it inside there's just a bunch of files. So to install it on Windows 10, if you go to your C drive and then into program files and create a folder. Alright, so back over in the downloads, if we grab those files. Go back to your the folder you created. In my case, it's Network Miner 2. And paste those files in. And acknowledge the UAC prompt. This gets the program into the right directory and the directory into the right section of Windows because 64-bit programs should be installed in the program files directory in Windows 10. If it's 32-bit, you would put it in program files x86. When you start it, it will probably throw an error. It may not in earlier versions of Windows, but in Windows 10 it'll probably tell you it can't get at some files that it needs access to. And so it's saying here it can't get to assembled files cache, which if you look up here there's a folder, assembled files, and there's no cache folder, which probably means the error was telling us that it wants to create the cache directory, but it can't. So if we go back up here to the network miner folder and look at it, of course, I guess we can acknowledge one thing we could do is run the program as administrator, but when you're starting up programs that read in PCAPs, it's best to try not to run those as administrator if you can help it at all. That would be the, the easy way out. Um, but if you look at the attributes, it's read only by default, so we would need to uncheck that. But also, if you go into the advanced, and uh, sorry, into the security, and then advanced. So click on edit and find the users. Here they are. Okay. So if we take a look at the privileges that the users have on that particular directory, they have the read and the execute but there's no write permission and that would explain why we couldn't create the files that we wanted to. And um, so we can give the users the ability to modify and write to this particular directory. And then also check that there's no denies on the right hand side because the denies automatically override any allows that you put. So apply that and see if it sticks. and try again. See if that's enough permissions. To test Network Miner, uh, easiest way is to open a PCAP. It can capture traffic, but if you started it as a regular user and you try to capture traffic and it can't, then it's not able to uh, basically go down into the network stack with the amount of privileges it needs. So what you'll need to do is restart it as administrator, capture whatever packets you want, save that off, close it out, and reopen it as a regular user again um, if you want to be as safe as possible. Or to test it, you can just open up a PCAP. So if we say open and pick a PCAP, I downloaded these off the exact same website that I got the tool from. And then click open. And depending on the speed of the machine, this might actually take a minute, but you should see the progress bar moving across, if nothing else, and then you'll see the machine slowly start to populate the list as it parses out the different IPs in the file. And then it'll also it'll try to parse out files and messages, um, credentials, and other things. And so you can click across the tabs in the top to make sure that everything got read in.